So I'm a huge, huge fan of Lord of the Rings. I have been ever since I was a kid. I've read all the books. I've seen the movies so many times that if you gave me a dollar for every time I've seen the movies, I would be rich. And of course, I saw them on the extended version because any true Lord of the Rings fan has to watch the extended versions, in my opinion. Anyway, so I really want to rewatch them again in 4K, actually. I haven't seen it in 4K yet. So I also really like the Hobbit trilogy, mainly because of Frandiel, if I'm saying that correctly, who is just the best elf in Middle Earth, in my opinion. He's just like so sassy. I love him. Anyway, so I feel like the Hobbit trilogy relied a little bit too much on CGI because the Lord of the Rings movies kept the CGI very minimal so I'm hoping that this show doesn't go too heavily into the CGI but let's go check out the trailer but before we do if you could subscribe like all of that stuff that would mean a lot to me thanks guys and we're back in Middle Earth what else is out there that looks pretty cool there's wonders in this world Beyond our wandering. Are they animals or humans? I can feel it. So it does look good. It looks very interesting visually, but it looks like there's going to be a lot of CGI. Oh, I love the elves' golden armor. It looks so cool. So one thing that I would really love to see in this is a young Franduil or Glorfindel. Glorfindel is a character from the books that I've never seen in the movies or on film at all, really. So I don't think we're going to get them, unfortunately, but we are going to get a young Elrond and Galadriel. So that will be really interesting to see. Look, I don't really like to talk about politics on this channel. I like to avoid that whenever I can, but I have to admit, this does look like they're trying to go in the political direction and I wish they wouldn't do that because one thing about Lord of the Rings originally is that Tolkien wanted it to be, you know, just non-political. He wanted it to speak for itself and... It actually did have a lot to say about racism without being, you know, in your face about it. Like the dwarves and the elves we see in Lord of the Rings that, you know, Legolas, he's really racist and the elves are really racist towards dwarves and then they get to know each other and they become very good friends and that is really heartfelt and powerful and... There is so many races in Middle Earth that they could focus on that I feel like, you know, inserting modern day politics in it, it takes away the power of the story of it being about hobbits and elves and dwarves and all the different problems that, you know, the social problems that they have in Middle Earth. And also it sort of feels like it takes it out of Middle Earth a bit because it's supposed to be this escapism. It's not about modern day politics. And I'm just so sick of seeing it everywhere. I just want to escape into Middle Earth for a while and not be reminded of the real world. Anyway, look, I feel like it is a pretty good looking trailer. It just feels like it's going to go a little bit too heavy on the CGI. So. Obviously, we only saw a very short teaser, so I can't really say for sure what it's going to be like until I see the first episode. But you know what? I'm still going in hopeful. I'm not going to go in, you know, aiming to hate it. I would like to really enjoy it, but we'll just have to wait and see. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of it. And if you could give this video a like, that would be great.